Hey folks, I have your latest update here. Another week, we have more things to report. It's not just my beard that's growing. We've got some interesting news out there for you. Now, I'm gonna talk about two different areas. I'm gonna talk about Vaughan, but I'm also gonna talk about Toronto. Now, not the GTA, just Toronto, just because I don't want influences of all sorts of outlining areas. So just the Toronto, okay? So when we look at Toronto, and here's how I'm bro broken down every single slide. It makes no sense to me, first of all, to compare month to month, just because there's so much happening on a weekly basis. And, and sometimes we see changes just based on a, a government announcement. So what I've done, I've broken it down by week. I've started March, so the first week, March 2 to the 8th, and so forth. And the last week I have here, the most current, is week ending the April 12th. Orange is 2020, and blue is for the same week period last year, 2019. And we follow that theme throughout all these slides. If you're looking for this information for yourself or you want to download other slides because I'm just giving you a summary of my report. There's, there's more slides. If you go to vonmarkerreport.ca, you can get all this information for yourself. Also, subscribe below and each time I update every week, you'll be updated with, uh, with the newest report. So, let's have a look. This is for Toronto, freehold only and sales. So if you're thinking, oh, sales must be way down, you'd be correct. We started off at the beginning of March with way more sales than what we did last year, but middle of March, we were told stay home, and now sales are way down. Last year at this same week, we sold 321 freehold properties in Toronto. Well, this year, last week, we sold only 62. So again, if you're thinking sales must be way down, you'd be correct. But what does that mean for prices? Well, again, orange this year, blue is last year for the same week period. So for Toronto, at the beginning of March, we were way ahead of last year's average dollar price. Last week, we're basically the same. So whatever uh, uh, gains we had in price over last year, we've used it all up. We are now sitting at an average price of freehold homes in Toronto, almost 1.2 million. Now, in those sales that we did, if I'm just gonna go back one slide, in these 62 sales that we did, 21 of those properties, so one third, were purchased either at asking or over asking. So although activity is down, there's still quite a bit of action with those properties that have been purchased. If you are on the market, if you're looking to buy or if you're looking to sell, you've seen some activity. It's still not, that's the price. Things must be bad. Let me offer low. That's, that's not the situation we're in. We're just selling a lot less homes, but in a lot of those cases, we're being, pro properties are being sold over asking. Let's look at new listings for Toronto. Well, last week we had 206 new listings on the market. Some have sold, some will sell this week and, and so forth. So there's still people looking to put their properties on the market. There is some activity. Now, although we are conducting business. It's not business as usual. Activity is down, but the way we're operating it has changed. Many of these properties are being purchased also without actually physically seeing them. They're being purchased through virtual tours. So there's ways of conducting business or, or they're being purchased, a price is agreed to, and there's a condition on seeing the unit in person before the deal firms up. So you're not going back and forth and, and really having all sorts of people enter your home and a price hasn't been agreed to yet. So there's ways of, of doing things, keeping in mind our, our health protocols right now. Let's take a look at Vaughn Freehold. 
similar pattern, just the numbers are, are, are much lower. We were way above last year's sales prices when it comes to the beginning of March, but we've gone right down to where last week in Vaughan, we sold only 10 homes. Of those 10 though, similar pattern to the Toronto area, three of those were sold at asking or over asking. Now, does that mean that, that people are paying more for homes? Well, there is a strategy in pricing a, a home lower to get it sold quicker and we see some, some agents following that pattern. So it doesn't necessarily mean that people are paying over market value, but it could be a, a listing strategy to price the home a bit lower. So this way, you're not on the market for a long time, you, you have it out there for a week or 10 days and you know on that day, it's gonna be sold, assuming the seller gets the price that he wants and the buyer pays what he wants. Looking at prices for Vaughn Freehold, Again, we were way above at the beginning of the March of what prices were last year, but we've, we've used up all our gains and the average price is a, a, a million 65 is what it was last year and a million 56 were basically the same as where we were last year. So there really aren't any gains right now. So is that necessarily a bad thing? Well, our prices are sitting at where they were last year. It's not a botting them out of the market by any means. It's not a crash. You start hearing all these things out there being announced. We are basically price-wise sitting where we were last year at this time, same, same week. And when we look at listings in Vaughn, there were 43 new listings come out. So we only bought 10 freehold properties, but there's 43 new listings, which is what it was the week before. I'm not sure if this is what we're going to see now on a weekly basis, but so far we've got a, a, a two week trend where just over 40 properties are coming onto the market on a weekly basis. Let's take a look at condos. Now I'm going to start off with Vaughn first. We sold three condos in Vaughn last week. This period last year, it was 20. So we're, we're way below and, and I'm, Looking at the three thinking, it's really hard to get a true average number. And we can see that we're, we're below what condos were selling for last year at this time. But keep in mind, it was only three. It's really tough to get a, a true average number when it comes to that. But we did have nine new condo listings come up in, in Vaughn last week. Taking a look at Toronto. Now, you should know that for the Toronto sales, condos versus freehold, it's normally about half and half. It fluctuates a little bit, uh, 60, 40, 55, 45. So, but on average, half the property sold in Toronto are condos, the other half are freehold. So looking at condos, we sold 48 last week, week ending April 12th, way less than what we sold the, the same time last year. Of those 48, Half, 22, almost half, 22 were sold at asking or over asking. So there's lots of action in the condo market in Toronto. I'm not saying we're selling lots. You can tell that we're not selling that many. But of the ones being sold, it's not fair to say, wow, you can get a, a condo at a great price now. Maybe you can. It depends on that particular situation but I, I just don't want someone to be naive thinking that just because a condo's for sale that they can get it at, at a steal. There's still, you might have to fight still for it in a multiple offer situation. Almost half sold at asking or over asking. Looking at condo prices, well, last week we're a little bit lower than what we were before, last year at the same time, but we're relatively the same. Now, at the same week last year, 29 condos were sold at a million dollars or more. This past week, none. So that could explain quite a bit why the average prices is a bit lower this year than it was last year. But when you're talking about condos in the 700, 800, 600,000 range, you're going to find the prices really haven't dropped but there's just fewer of them being sold. 
And when it comes to new listings, well, there was almost 300 new condo listings last week. So people are putting their homes on the market fewer than last year, but they're putting their homes on the market. And, and if I could just generalize the real estate market as a whole, if you're thinking activity is way down, you're right. If you're thinking that prices have bottomed out, I, 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 can't, I can't go there with you. We are seeing multiple offers on some of these properties. We are seeing properties selling similar to where they would have sold last year. So, and, and, and you're gonna find situations where there are deals and you're gonna find situations where for the right home people will pay a bit more than market. And really market price boils down to what a seller is prepared to sell at and a buyer is prepared to buy at without any undue pressure. That last part makes it really tricky to give a true market analysis here because there is pressure. Sellers don't necessarily want to have their home on the market, a lot of them now. Buyers don't necessarily want to be looking to too many homes right now. Um, what if a seller has bought and they kind of have pressure to sell. And what if a buyer has already sold and has pressure to sell? There's extra pressure with this whole health crisis right now. It makes it really tricky to predict where prices are going. But I can tell you, as of right now, they have not bottomed out. We are not in a, a downward spiral, spiral. We're holding steady virtually where we were last year. My name is Santo Sessa with 3MAX Premier. Subscribe below. You'll be updated every week with the newest real estate prices and insights. Have a great day.